What's going on everyone, Tom Gorin back again with episode 20 I think of the F1 2020 My Team Career Mode. Today we are here in Monte Carlo for the Monaco Grand Prix and you know what, I think it's time for redemption. If you haven't, if you didn't watch last season's race, it, well, first of all, from a personal standpoint, it was literally misery because just the car just didn't feel good at all last season. And even though we scored points, it still didn't feel good. We do have a better car this season than we did uh, last season. As you can see on the progress history, we are actually climbing through the progress charts. We are now the fourth worst team, right ahead of McLaren and Renault and Haas as well. We've also changed the uh, some of the power units, the ICE, the MGUH, the MGUK, and all that other stuff. We are fifth, surprisingly fifth, in the drivers championships but like the video comment and subscribe for more videos it's time for the monaco grand prix nelson pk once said that driving the circuit de monaco was like riding a bicycle around your living room and it's not hard to see what he means by that there's no more prestigious a grand prix victory than monaco but also none so challenging Let's run you through the driver grid order for today's exciting race. An immense lap from Lewis Hamilton yesterday puts him on pole position, and it's Valtteri Bottas that completes the front row. Looking down the rest of the grid, we have Ricardo, Albon, Max Verstappen, and Leclerc, Perez, Sainz, Stroll, and Roman Grosjean, Norris, Magnussen, Pierre Gasly, and De Vries, Thomas, Giovinazzi, Nobuharu Matsushita and George Russell, Ocon, Uber, Fiat and Nicholas Latifi. After the points finish last race, let's aim to keep the momentum going. 15th is uh, is where we're starting for today's race and literally last season we started 14th and we gained points. Um you know what, I think I'm going to do something different for today's race. Instead of going the normal medium uh, hards, let's do the alternate strategy. Let's do the medium, let's do the hards first, and then go to the, go to the medium tyres. Let's see, what can we pick? Can we pick, let's see, lap 20, lap 19. Okay, we only lose around about seven hundredths of a second, or seven, yeah, seven hundredths of a, of a second if we pit in on lap 19 or 20 so i think it's better off if we go longer on the hards do the overcut and then hopefully we can gain a lot of positions during uh the second stint with only what 19 or, or 18 laps uh, to go but yeah um i think this is also the second time that my teammate nick defries has also qualified me in um on the track as well so you know, Nick's also getting in there, but I need him to start, you know, scoring points. You know, I need him to really start uh, doing well if we really want to uh, win uh, races or challenge the uh, challenge the constructors' uh, championships. Always the goal of Monaco in the first lap is to try and be cautious. You don't want to be losing the race, losing the back end, or losing your your front wing. Or because you try to make an aggressive move at Monaco. If we can score points, I hope we can on this alternate strategy. But here we go for five red lights. And it's lights out and away we go for the Monaco Grand Prix. Decent start by me there and also my teammate. As we end towards turn one, I'm going to break a little bit early. Don't want to rear end uh, Pierre Gasly. Up the hill we go. But we've jumped our teammate. Oh, actually, he's going to come fighting back. Up the hill. Into Casino! Oh my goodness me, he's still, he's still there! Nearly lose the back end there a little bit, he nearly spun me out! Jesus Christ, Nick has really put up a challenge today. But we're going to force him out wide. And there we go. We've actually got him into P15. There's a, wow, there's uh, Magnussen and Norris going side by side as we actually get Gasly. Can we get one of these two drivers? Can they make a mistake? We've got no front wing damage, and it doesn't look like it. 
think the first four laps on these hard tyres were, I don't know, just a little bit hot, well, just a very hard to get used to. Just a lot of times losing the back end, a little bit of understeer. But I think as the more, the more laps we do on this tyre, I think the more time we'll gain on Stroll and, and also Norris uh, as well. We've now entered that stage of the race where the softs and the mediums are starting to fall apart here. Stroll is holding up Norris. It, it just, it only takes just one mistake from Norris and we can get him. But right now we're managing the tyres and we're managing the fuel and the ERS really well. In sector 3 we seem to be getting them. Lap 11 and Grosjean is in. And it looks like all the soft runners are also in as well for their one and only stop. And where are we going to be? We're going to be in fourth place. And where's Hamilton? Hamilton is actually behind. Oh, we thought he was behind Magnussen, but looks like he's also uh, behind Norris as well on the mediums. Round Raskas. I've done. A, I think I've done a very good job here. Tires don't even look that bad. I think I could have stayed out. A couple more laps but anyway let's see where are we gonna be are we gonna be in the top 10 hopefully we are this is the moment of truth it do, does this strategy work has this strategy worked p5 p6 magnuson and yes it has worked we're in p6 here in monaco after doing the alternate strategy from p14 My pace now on these on these mediums now is super quick now. Literally, I feel so confident now on these medium tyres. I've just set the fastest lap of the race, which is mad. Fastest lap on the race on the medium tyres. That's like the that's probably the first time I've ever done that. The fastest lap, and now probably for the first time all game, I feel super confident at Monaco in race trim now. If we can get Charles Leclerc, maybe into the chicane, or maybe out of it. I think we're too long into the chicane. Just get our braking zones right. Okay, we did cut the corner a little bit there, but we get a super exit there. Around the outside, into the back corner. Don't hit the wall, and that's P5. What a super overtake that was. Albon is also starting to feel the effects of the medium tyres as well. I think he pitted, what, 10 laps ago? Or what? I don't know. Or it must have been 20 laps ago or something. But he's starting to feel it, just like how Verstappen and Leclerc are feeling it as well. In towards the chicane, we get a super good run out of that chicane. Here we go. Overtake is being engaged inside of Tabac Corner. And that's P4. Both Leclerc and Albon on the outside and the inside of Tabac Corner. What a, what moves we're making here in Monaco? Oh man, this strategy, man. This has been a very good race. We've pulled away from Albon and Leclerc, and we even closed the gap to Ricardo and Bottas. But we're not going to get on the podium today. I was hoping a safety car could really play into our hands, but a safety car hasn't come out. Lewis Hamilton once again wins the Monaco Grand Prix, but from P15, we're going to finish in P4 in Monaco after doing the alternate strategy. And you know what? I'm really happy with that race. What a super performance that was by us right there. So, another fantastic victory for the Silver Arrows. So, Anthony, what made the difference out there today? I think a large part of the result comes down to temperament. They were able to keep their heads when everyone around them was losing theirs, and that's allowed them to get the best out of the car, to maximise the strategy, and to stay out of trouble.
After an excellent performance at the Grand Prix, I'm sure there'll be plenty of celebrations tonight amongst the Mercedes team. And they certainly deserve it. Lewis Hamilton takes victory then in, in Monaco. Bottas in second place, of course, and Daniel Ricciardo in that Red Bull in a P3. It's just a shame, though, that one thing negative about this race was that there was no safety car. I think, really, if... If a safety car came out, that would have really played into our strategy. And I think we could have maybe gotten a podium. Oh, didn't want to do that. Whoops. Um, Nick DeFries, P14. He's showing good pace, but he's still not finishing in the points. And we jump into fourth place in the Drivers' Championship. 60 points behind Lewis Hamilton. And we go into sixth place in the Constructors' uh, Championships. Carlos Sainz, 10th, Magnussen in ninth but that is it for this video if you did enjoy this video make sure to hit the like button and subscribe for more f1 2020 my team uh, content coming a couple days a week but yeah fourth place thanks for watching and i'll see you all in the next video goodbye